What's up guys, Gerudo Burrito here and we're back with more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last episode, we uh, started off the game and then we ended off, uh, whoops, we ended off here in the Great Fairy Fountain. We got a new power for the Deku. And um, now I guess we're just going to do some more stuff. You want to leave there first of all. And um, the power we got is the power to shoot bubbles. So if you um, press B and then hold down B. You can shoot bubbles, and what, what you want to do is shoot down this balloon. And this little kid's going to be like, oh my god, what happened? Talk to him. I really want to just pop that up there. Not bad for Deku Scrub, heh. <laughs> we bombers have a hideout that leads to the observatory outside town. You need a code to get in, maybe I'll tell you what it is, heh. <laughs> I don't think you're getting it that easily. I can't just tell you the code is. You'll have to pass my test first. Are you ready? You bet I am. If you can find all five of us by tomorrow morning, I'll teach you the code. Are you ready? Heh. <laughs> Look at him over there, the outcast jumps last. <laughs> Loser. Okay, anyways, um, what you want to do is uh, find all five of these kids and then tag them all. There's the first one right there. Next one um, is actually right back here. What you want to do is go ahead and spin into them to kind of get them right away there. And next one is actually going to be in, I think, East Clocktown. Yeah, there's two of them in East Clocktown. So we'll go over here. And here's the introduction of East Clocktown. Uh, just another area, you know, there's, um... This is, uh, kind of a very important area, which, because it has this little alleyway back there, that's going to be important later on, but I'll, we'll get into that later. Um, and then this guy, can we get him as soon as he gets down? Yes! Oh my god, I'm killing this game so far. Um, next one, you can use this little Deku, Deku Leaf, whatever it's called over here. What are these things called? I forgot. Deku something. Whatever. Okay, next one's gonna be up here. You wanna fly over here? Oh, I got him trapped. You cannot escape me. There's no way. Try not to go through that door there. That's gonna suck if you did that. And then with that, there's one more, and this one is going to be an east, or no, west clock down. So head over there. Just go down here. West clock town is obviously going to be to the west, so you're going to want to go through this door right here. Not that simple, I mean, not that hard. Oh, this one, though, this is west clock town, this has the bank in it. Um, this is also a significant area. Mainly just because of the bank. There's also a few shops here, like these three doors you see on the left. Those are going to be significant also. Let's see. Oh my god, I got that like way easier than I've ever gotten that. That's kind of awesome. They're pretty good for a dick, you scrub. Heh. If only you were human. Heh. <laughs> then I could give you an original bomber's notebook and make you a member. What do you guys think? No way, no scrubs. Guess not. Once we let some kid who wasn't human joined a gang and boy did we ever regret it sorry heh but I'll teach you the code just as I promised whatever heh the code is going to be and make sure you remember this code remember it remember it remember it it's 41532 let's see well that's uh let's see I'm trying to think of a way to remember that I got nothing well okay it's one it's like the last two is like one two, and then the first three is like four three five, but with one and three sit switched. So I guess I'll remember it that way. If that, I doubt that even made any sense. But um, yeah, that's kind of how I'm gonna remember it. I'm um, sorry if that made no sense, but whatever. Oh, and I forgot to mention that that balloon has a Skull Kid Majora mask on it, which is kind of kind of weird. But anyways. With that, um, they gave us the code to their little hideout, which is actually in East Clocktown, so that's where we're going to head next. Um, I want to talk to this guy here. And I should mention now that this is going to be a 100% LP, so, yeah. Let's see. Three. I, I already forgot this code. Um, okay, um, it's, uh, oh, what is it? It was, the last two was one, two, and then, so this is three, right? And this is two. And then this is four. No, what? I'm so confused. Okay, this is five, right? Oh, that was a oh, that was right. Nice. See, I told you my code would my little helpful code to remember it would help. Okay. Anyways, um, uh, on my last playthrough of this game, I actually got like 
I literally got um five, one, two, three, four. So there's a little there are a lot of codes that are like easy to remember. This one kinda isn't easy to remember, but um it'll be fine. I have it recorded, so it's not like I'm gonna ever lose it or anything like that. Here we have a new enemy. This is a Skulchula, and uh, you hate Skulchula so much if you played Ocarina of Time. This is a gold Skulchula side quest where um, you get all 100 gold Skulchulas and the reward is uh, 100 rupees. Sucks, man. But anyway, anyways, um, you're gonna wanna shoot a balloon at that balloon. Or no, shoot a bubble at that balloon. Giving you access to this ladder right here. And there we go. In here, you see that scarecrow right here. This will actually pass the time by a whole day. So if we need to do that, talk to him. Um, we might be using that later to pass time. But um, yeah, you're gonna want to talk to this guy. Well, well, a strange looking child is joining me today. Aren't you a new friend of the bombers gang? Hmm, your manners seem much better than those of your mischievous whatever. <laughs> You know, I love how the Bomber Gang is a bunch of uh, little kids, and then this old man right here. That's the Bomber Gang. Do, uh, do, am I the only one who sees anything wrong with that? Am I the only one who kind of just like, you know, there's something wrong with that? I don't think I'm the only one here. Um, but yeah, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure why they even put this guy here. But um, yeah, he is there, so we're just going to ignore it and move on and never acknowledge it ever again. And yeah. There it was Skull Kid, shakes his ass at us and then leaves. How does he even see us here? <laughs> it's kind of funny. Anyways, um, what you what you saw earlier is actually a moon tier falling down from the moon. So if you leave, you can actually pick that up. And you got a moon tier, it's sparkling, beauty radiates rather strangely. Okay, let's leave and never do that again. And yeah, the moon tier is kind of the last thing you need. Um, to progress this game. Um, you may have seen a little Deku pad. I'm, I'm just going to call that a Deku pad. I, th I doubt that's what it's called, but I'm just going to call that because I don't care that much. Um, may have seen one of those. Um, in South Clock Town, like a yellow one. The yellow ones shoot you higher than the normal like purple ones do. So um, in, in, in order to access that yellow one, because we need to access that in order to progress the game, you need to uh, give the owner of that a Moon's Tear and then he will let you use it. So... The moon's tier is what we have right now, so we can do that now. And after we've done that, there's really nothing left for us to do. Um, so that's kind of kind of funny. Well, it's not funny, but you know what I mean. Um, next, what we're gonna do is head back to South Clock Town. Let's see. Oh, yeah, none of the first day. Sixty hours remain. So next, what we're gonna do is just like what I said. Head down to this yellow little. Thing here. Wait, wait, hang on. This is my private property. Don't try using it when I'm not around. Okay. What if I give you a moon's tear? Oh, that stone. You must hand it over to me. In exchange, I'll give you my spot here. Take you flower included. Yes? Yes. Uh, sure, why not? Okay, he says a bunch of random stuff, and then he leaves. This is a very slow animation, by the way, and, um, yeah. And with that, to be honest, we're kind of left with not much to do here. So, I mean, I don't know what else. We're up to eight, or no, nine minutes right now. I'm not going to end the video yet, because obviously, we haven't even, like, done everything yet. But, um... Yeah, I mean, I don't know what, what else we can do here. I could just end this short, be, to be honest. Or I could just... Because, like, okay, another thing I like to do in the first day night cycle is, um... Go to North Clock Town and grind for 99 rupees. That's another thing you should do on the first cycle here. Because, uh, you need to put a bunch of rupees in the bank and stuff, so... I think I'm just gonna do that real quick. And, uh, I'll be back once I have 99 rupees here. I'm just gonna keep doing this. So, yeah. Uh, I'll be back in a second. But really, uh, probably like 30 minutes for me. Okay, guys, we are back, and I have 99 rupees. It only took like 3 minutes. That was not as long as I expected. Not, not, not at all as long as I expected. So, um, now I suppose I can show you the West Clock Town, um, bank. 
Um, that's definitely what we're going to be doing next, I guess. Um, anyways, West Clocktown is obviously the one on the west. Um, obviously, very obvious. And yeah, I, I was grinding while watching um, NCS's new um, episode of Pokemon Sapphire. One of the best LPs on YouTube right now. Let's speak to this guy. Hey there, little guy. Want you to deposit some rupees? Of course I will. Nowadays, even if you have money, they don't deposit anything. Yes, that is true. Well, actually, that's not really true. <laughs> Alright, so, how much money? 99. And? Seriously, that's a lot. A lot. A lot. So, little guy, what's your name? Hmm, Link, is it? And someone tell me if this is a guy or a girl. Honestly, I have no clue. I will never know. There is no way of knowing. I mean... It, I, it just, there's... What is that thing? I don't even know. I mean, no... I mean... <laughs> let's say no offense, but that's not... That's stupid. <laughs> um... Like, honestly, what is that? Tell me. Someone, please. I'm so curious. I literally want to know. Okay, so next thing we can do is actually still in West Clocktown. Um, head inside this shop here. And we're not here because of the shop. We're, we're here because... To your left. And it's a Scarecrow. Yo, hey baby! I'm a Stellan Scarecrow wandering in search of pleasant music. Time will pass in the blink of an eye if you dance with me. And, um, whoops. Accidentally said no there. Um, okay, skip everything else. Now I don't want to learn your song. I don't have anything to play it with. <laughs> Talk to him again. This time, don't skip all the text. Yes, I want to dance. And if you just keep doing this over and over again, you can keep doing this until the night of the final day, which is what we are going to do. So I recommend you do this as many times as you can. <laughs> and Link's like, hell no, I'm not dancing, but I'll take the day skip. <laughs> uh, Link's just sad inside. Poor Link. And yes, let's dance again. Scarecrow's awesome. Like, he can just stay happy even though the world's ending. He's in the presence of someone as downright sad as Link is. And yet he still remains happy and he can dance till the, he can dance the night away. That's just awesome. Okay, let's see. We can do it like two more times, I think. Alright, come on. Is there any way I can skip this animation? Guess not. Dawn of the final day. We're getting up there. And since we skipped the entire second day, I guess it's um it's okay for me to go ahead and say that, um that <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, that that on the second day it actually is going to rain. Every every time you do a day night cycle, it's gonna rain on the second day. So that's something to keep in mind, of course, and yeah. I think that's the last time we can play the song here. Yes, it is now night of the final day, and there's nothing left to do but wait until, um, yeah. Okay, <laughs> would you like to learn it? No. Okay, and with that, he leaves because he is off, and yeah. Okay, so as I earlier said, um, that the moon is going to crash into the earth on the final day. You may think that was a spoiler, but that was no spoiler. Look at the sky. The sky is a spoiler. Look at that. The moon is just feet away from crashing into the clock town tower there. Nothing can prevent it. And, um... You may, you may, I mean, if you've never played the game before, you may be thinking, like, okay, so how are you supposed to continue the game if the moon's gonna crash into the Earth in six minutes? Well, that's just to be found out later on. Um, there is a way. There's a will, there's a way. So, um... You want to use that flower to fly over here and grab this heart piece. And this is our very first heart piece in the game. I guess we can ex uh, explain the heart pieces. Um, basically, if you get four of those, you get a new heart container added to your life energy up there at the top left. So, um, yeah, we can do that. And we're going to be getting all 52 of them, I think. There's 52. Yeah, there's 52. We're going to be getting all of them in this game, along with all the masks there are to get. But anyways, we are up to the time here, and there's nothing left to do but wait. Uh, when we come back, it will be at midnight on the final day. And that moon's going to be just inches away. I mean, you can see it getting bigger. You can literally just like look at the edges and just see it getting bigger. That's crazy. It's creepy, man. Yeah, so we'll be back.